It's often difficult to see fundamental turning points in history. Normally we have to stand a long way back to see what's happened. But we're living through a fundamental change right now. In terms of economics, that began in 2007 with the global financial crisis. This marked not the beginning of a typical recession, which is why we're having such trouble getting out of it, but the end of an economic era, an era which began in the late 1970s. Now that means in this new economic world, you have to find new strategies and new ways of winning if you want to be successful. What you did in the past is largely irrelevant. The same is true with China. China has reached a fundamental turning point. This time it's not so much to do with economics as with demographics. Because of the one child policy, the number of people entering the workforce in China is now turning negative and that is driving up costs. So businesses which have been so successful in China are going to find the next five or 10 years fundamentally different from the last five or 10 years. The same is true in many other areas. We've also reached a tipping point in terms of climate change, although most of us like not to believe that, in terms of the population of the planet, and also in terms of many of our resources, particularly energy. Energy prices are going to go up in the years ahead, and that will again fundamentally change the nature of the business, particularly in the real estate sector. Come and listen to me on the beginning of November, and let me explain to you why we've reached this tipping point, and let me explain to you what you need to do, and what you need to do to make profit and benefit in the years ahead. The world has changed, and you need to change with it.